वॉचिंग एन डी टी वी हिंदू Welcome to Pet Tales. Today I get to live every little girl's dream. At least it was mine when I was a lot younger. This was one animal that I simply had to have, if not own, then at least interact on a day-to-day -day basis. Those my little pony days. Well, today I get to live my my little pony days. So Pia is not a little pony really. She is a rather large horsey. but she's also very gentle and sweet and i hear she has 20 other friends at the stables each of them with a distinct personality we get to meet all of them today pia like all her other friends is an ex-race horse and the equestrian riding academy is home to all of them here the grass is lush and green and the trees are tall and shady and of course there's all the space in the world if what you want is a lazy stroll or to kick up your heels and break into a gallop it's fairly early in the morning and already there is a flurry of activity all around it's time for horses and riders alike to stretch their legs and warm up their muscles now these horses probably can't be termed as pets in the usual sense but the relationship that each rider shares with his or her favorite horsey is something i thought quite amazing Take Rishika and Autobahn for example. Their bond is one that has surprised many. Autobahn, which means highway in German, is one horse that was sent away from the race course simply because he consistently threw off his riders. Yes, Otto was trying to say, "My way on the highway, dude." Once at the academy, he met Rishika, and for her it was love at first sight. This gorgeous horse, who is tall but not towering and beautifully built, is just right, as Rishika puts it. They began to work together and slowly Rishika won his trust. Today both of them are training together for dressage. And he was in he was race horse and he retired apparently because he threw a lot of people off and they couldn't control him. Ban is a shy guy who doesn't particularly crave any food but seems to enjoy the mango leaves in the rink. This magnificent creature being won over by this petite 16-year-old is quite remarkable, especially when you think of all those champion riders he threw off. One horse that loves doing it just for the fun of it is Taurus. By far one of the largest horses in the academy, this horse doesn't have one single spiteful bone in him. He's much too playful for that. When he throws people off, he truly means it as an innocent joke. Easy for him to say, but one person who laughs with Taurus, who has stuck with him through all the ups and downs, is his rider and favorite human, Vaishali. Vaishali has been riding 13-year-old Taurus for about 2 years now and proudly told us all about her brat of a baby. Taurus is extremely extroverted and hence loves making new friends. Slip him a carrot and he'll think you're god. Oh yeah, this horse's biggest high in life is food. When Charlie was explaining to us about her work with Taurus, he simply couldn't hold still. He kept bumping into her and messed around with the water in his bucket and made funny frothy noises. Apparently, he loves these silly water games and hence Taurus has an entire tub to himself. He's curious from the tips of his silken ears to the ends of his lustrous tail and he keeps sticking his nose into his neighbor's paddock. Not that bull performer seemed to mind too much, but why Charlie pointed out the bite marks on his neck that were souvenirs that Taurus picked up on some such highly nosy occasions. He quickly went through his carrots, getting slightly upset when why Charlie offered one to bull performer. And after polishing off two big bags, Taurus was in denial for some time and kept nipping at the plastic bag, why Charlie's fingers, and my pockets. This towering horse is still a mischievous child. 
and coaxing him into doing his routines requires a lot of patience and twice the amount of love, both of which he receives in abundance from his doting Vaishali. <laughs> Meanwhile, in one of the big rinks, riders were at work, setting up an obstacle course that would be the true test of both rider and horse and the bond that they shared. Now, this course can only be crossed with the right amount of speed perfect precision and oodles of confidence, all of which Nishant and Foxtrot had been working on. Foxtrot is Nishant's own horse, well, half his horse. He owns it in partnership with the owner of the academy. Theirs too is a story of instant love. Right from the beginning, both took to each other. Yes, Foxtrot has a mind of his own and is immensely stubborn, but Nishant has slowly managed to work on him and they are a remarkable sight when they sail through a show jump. Nishant rewards Foxtrot for his magnificent jumps. And then Foxtrot is off for his bath, something that he quite enjoys. I was also taken around and introduced to many others. The pony Shiva and Uvulus, my lady, by far one of the most prettiest mares I've ever met, and many other horses. And then it was my turn to ride. I figured with my inexperience, gentle Pia would be my best bet. It was all right as long as she was walking. But when she began to trot, it was bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> Horsey put up with it all. Pia is every beginner's dream and this is just the start for me. I'm definitely going back to get to know these animals better. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. I've had quite a bouncy ride here today at the academy. Plenty of ups and downs. You know, horses are so different compared to the usual animals that we meet. They're so powerful and magnificent and yet you can control them with a subtle touch or a slight movement of your leg. Of course, as is common to all animals, this happens only when there's a bond based on sheer trust. And winning that trust is probably one of the best feelings in the world. Pack in your bags and leave in the country. Pack your pet too. We'll tell you how.